Mass balancing is an exercise performed daily by the plant metallurgist. Um, this mass balancing can be performed um, to do metallurgical accounting. So a few samples are taken around the plant to gauge the performance of the plant during that day. But it can be also be used to um, do a full mass balance around the full circuit this is usually done when a mathematical model of the plant is built. Um, mass balancing is done for a few reasons. The first is when samples cannot be taken around the plant. For example, when the trommel is directly attached to the sagmol, it is impossible to take a sample on the sagmol product. But doing a mass balance will allow you to back calculate this information. Mass balancing also accounts for an experimental error when taking samples. So mass balancing gives you a result where the, um, the mass balance results are mathematically sa sound. That means that the ton per hour for each size going into an equipment piece will be equal to the after the survey data information has been entered, um, we are ready to perform a mass balance. So in order to do the mass balance, we have to click on the Bell Smart button. Bell Smart is the mass balancing component of the MetSmart software. After clicking the button, um, a message appears within a few seconds to tell us that a mass balance has been completed. So the first equipment piece that we will check is the sagmol. Now previously when we entered the survey data information we noted that it was not possible to take a um, product sample from the sagmol. Um, in this result we can see that we have calculated a, sort of a, a mass balance distribution dough. Um, therefore we are able to um, build mathematical models around the sagmol because we have this um, calculation available to us. Um, the next equipment piece that we can check is the cyclone. Now, um, cyclones are quite an interesting equipment piece. Um, the reason for that is that the amount of sample that is sent back to the ball mill via the cyclone um, is important in terms of um, how much sample is sent back for regrinding. Um, the size of the underflow is also important. Uh, it affects if the ball mill is producing scats or not. And the final product size from the, of the overflow is also important because this is the size that is going to the flotation circuit and this will affect the liberation of your valuables. Um, furthermore, if you do not have an instrument to tell you what the flow rate of your underflow is, um, you will not know what the recirculating um, ratio around your cyclone is unless you calculate it with mass balancing. In this case, our recirculating load was 211%, which is normal for a cyclone. It is a good idea to have this double checking of your instruments by calculating the recirculating load. So all of this information is available in um, tables and graphs, as well as a PDF report. This information can be exported to Excel um, very easily. So here you can see this is the Excel information, which we can then see in a graphical um, format for the relevant equipment pieces. Here we can send it. So after we've performed the mass balancing, we need to understand the importance of this 
mass balancing process. Um, so firstly, we can calculate properties that we could not measure during the survey, for example, the SAGMO product. Um, we can smooth data that was taken um, with a sample error, or we can diagnose potential bottlenecks in the plant. For example, is the stream flow too high or too low? Do you have a problem with the densities around some of your streams? Or do you perhaps have a final product size that's too fine or too coarse? Um, if this is the case, then you need to um, do something about the operation of your plant. Um, furthermore, we can calculate things that we cannot measure um, on the plant or things that we can measure but we are not sure about the measurement. Um, for example, the um, recirculating a load around a normal cyclone circuit. And we can also see from the mass balance results um, if we have a flotation circuit and we do a assay balance, um, we can see if there is a buildup of a specific mineral, metal, or in fact a waste material in a recirculating circuit which takes up valuable residence time. You can also pinpoint the sizes where most of the valuable minerals or metals are located and with that information you can fine-tune your flotation process. Um, it is important to note the difference between the word mass balancing and metallurgical accounting. Mass balancing is done for a specific moment in time. It is done for the moment that the samples were taken. Um, it is not a continuous measurement process. It is a process where we calculate missing data and we smooth data. Um, however, the mass balance result can be used for metallurgical accounting. It can be performed. Uh, it can be compared against the um, the throughput recorded during, for let's say, the day or the recovery and grade of the plant over a specific period of time. So, if your mass balance predicts that you should get a certain recovery and your metallurgical accounting um, for that period of time does not add up, um, there could be a specific reason um, for that error.